हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी फैक्टर इन्वॉल्विंग इन दी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ क्रूड ड्रग्स राइट और मे बी द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स दिस आल्सो वी कैन से सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ मेडिसिनल प्लांट बेसिकली व्हाट दीज आर सो वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्क्राइब व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स दैट मे अफेक्ट द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ मेडिसिनल प्लांट राइट फ्रॉम द एल्टीट्यूड टेम्परेचर रेनफॉल irrigation in those points we are going to take it as a detail in full detail right so you just uh, go through the video and uh, you will get the idea like how you are going to write in the exam so uh, in introduction what we can say that crude drugs which are uh, reach the market and pharmaceutical industry will have passed through the different stages right so what is happening here uh, drug uh, right from the its uh, cultivating source uh, it will come and uh, 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 it may be go for the storage drying uh, the cleaning of the uh, matters and all those things different step it is going to pass that have a small effect in nature and the amount of active constituent right so during the process during the storage there is a definitely it is going to affect its uh, the, the nature of the crude drug and the amount of the active constituents which is there in the crude drug right so those stages are to be concerned more uh in order to make the drug useful to making by all means right so ultimately the intention is to produce the drug it is for therapeutic purpose so that property the therapeutic property should uh, remains same right so uh, there are some advantages cultivation produce uh, produce the improved quality of plants it help the selecting the species variety and the hybrid right maximum secondary metabolites we are supposed to achieve so there are certain advantages of cultivation that we have discussed already right so it is uh, uh, we can ensure the quality and purity we can uh, get the highest quality by uh, having the cultivation we can get the better yield we will go for, go to the regular supply to the industry and it will leads to the industrialization uh, cultivation permits the application of modern technology like um, polypolyidy mutation hybridization these things we have discussed right now coming to the factor affecting the cultivation basically this is the topic which we are going to discuss now right so when we talk about the factor affecting there are few factors to concern which have a real effect on plant growth right and its development the nature and the quantity of secondary metabolites or active constituents ultimately for that only the first factor which can affect the cultivation is nothing but altitude a l t i t u d e altitude means it is the level from uh, the height from the sea level right altitude means the height from the sea level and what height it it is required to uh, to be cultivated over there right it is very important factor in cultivation of medicinal plant right so here you can see uh, there is certain example examples are very very important when you are describing this particular answer plants one side you can write down and altitudes in meter you can write down right so these drugs it has been arranged in a such a way so that it will be easy to remember for you uh, in the altitude point of uh, view right t sincona coffee camphor cinnamon cardamom triple c right so here t t is for uh, 1000 to 1500 meter right so whenever the wherever the t it will be grown like maybe assam darjeeling sikkim and those north belt the altitude it is going to have the 1000 meter to 1500 meter in hilly region they can grow the agroclimatic requirement it will be suitable there in good uh, this thing right then second thing in sincona example you can give 1000 to 2000 so this side it is 1000 only the minimum is maximum is you have to increase 500 extra right so it, in that way you can you, you will not forget 1000 to 1500 1000 1, to 200 2000 even in case of coffee so here the similarity both the drug start from c sincona coffee right and uh, at the same time the altitude it is going to same for the sincona and coffee 1000 to 2000 so that i have arranged in a such a way so that it will be easy to remember for you camphor 1500 2000 now this side you can take right so whatever the last of uh, first two drug that will become minimum and maximum for camphor whereas in cinnamon and the uh, cardamom you have to remember little bit the lowest one it is 250 in the cinnamon and the highest one is the 1000 whereas in cardamom 600 to 
right so here also you can see 600600 right so 6 to 1600 so in this way you can able to remember and you should give this many example when you are writing this answer so it will be impressive for the things right now next uh, next thing what we can discuss here is temperature right so when we talk about the temperature uh, there are certain uh, temperature which is required for example you can see uh, it is a crucial factor controlling the growth metabolism and the yield of secondary metabolites ultimately our goal is to get the highest secondary metabolites like alkaloid glycoside tannin resin carbohydrate volatile oil all those things we are expecting because these are the thing we are cultivating for the medicinal purpose therapeutic value right so here again we are going to give the one series of the example which is very important as i told you right so in the temperature again t sincona coffee the first three drug i kept the same as it was there in the altitude cardamom the last drug again i have taken here and remaining camphor and cinnamon i have removed because uh, so that uh, it will be easy to remember that digit is very important here don't write the the cardamom temperature in tea and tea temperature in coffee okay so t once i plant t it that this temperature it is in fahrenheit so don't forget to write fahrenheit t is 70 to 90 cinchona is 60 to 75 coffee is 55 to 70 cardamom is 50 to 100 so you might be seeing that in pencil i have done something here marking this is for the remembering purpose so how, how i used to remember it is like 70 to 90 then 60 to 75 so these are these two are seven digit like cinchona and coffee it is going to the minimum uh, the maximum temperature it is going to be seven digits 75 and 70 whereas coffee and cardamom the minimum digit is also in five digits 55 and 50 so like that this similarity may help you to remember this all the temperature range of the different medicinal plants right so that's what uh, so many tricks it is involved that only i am explaining here the things are available in the various books right so if you go through definitely it will help you third factor which we can mention here it is rainfall right so when we talk about the rainfall for for the proper development of the plant or medicinal plants rainfall is required in proper measurement okay the effect of rainfall on plants must be considered in relations to the annual rainfall with water holding property of soil right so whatever the soil it is there in that particular area in that soil what is the water holding capacity how long they are going to retain the water among them so that the plant can get the water whenever they required so that is also important excessive rainfall could cause a reduction of secondary metabolites why due to the leaching of water soluble substance from the plant ultimately like when we talk about rolfia root or ashwagandha root right so they will be their root and in root only the active constants are there right maybe reserpine in rolfia so if the more water it is there for example excessive rainfall if it happen the reserpine it is going to dissolve in water because it is the root is immersed in the water all the time and uh, we may not get the sufficient quantity of reserpine in that way so many other water soluble active constants might be there in the plant that will get dissolved in the water because excessive rainfall and uh, we are going to lose the percentage yield right next fourth one day length and uh, daylight so day length is also very important when we are going for cultivation of the medicinal plant of course uh, we are having certain types of weather in our climate maybe summer season winter season rainy season so in all the season uh, what is happening is the length and the light is uh, go, uh, getting keep on getting changing right so what is happening here the plant that are kept in long day conditions may contain more or less amount of constituents right it may increase or it may decrease depend on the plant to plant and weather to weather when compared to the plant kept in short day right so that's what uh, for example one example we will understand with the example the peppermint oil right all of you know the mentha piperita right so from mentha we are getting peppermint which produce menthone t-h-o-n-e menthol t-h-o-l and menthofuran right f-u-r-a-n-e so these are the three chemical constituents which might be there 
in the peppermint in long day condition if it is summer season that's what in summer season more uh, pudina it will be used right so that's what that the reason maybe in jaljeera or maybe in uh, chutney or many other things right and uh, only menthofuron in short day maybe in winter day whatever the pudina it is available peppermint it is available only menthofuron this chemical will be there whereas the menthone and menthol will be missing so you, you can see the impact of the length of the day right so the wild grown plant would meet these required condition and shortly grow but during the cultivation we have to fulfill the requirement of plants right so this is the thing next fifth factor we you can mention that is the soil so when we talk about the soil each and every plant species have its own soil and the nutritive requirements like uh, for example what we are getting what the plant get from the soil three basic character of soil that is the physical strength chemical and the microbiological property it is going to have which the plant is going to consume during their growth and development that's very very important right now coming to the uh, this soil only uh, we are uh, going to keep some factor uh, how the soil is there and uh, uh, how it is important right so uh, this under this uh, we can mention this soil provide mechanical support water supply and essential food of the plant which they required soil consist of what is the content of soil we are going to study the air it will be there in the soils water will be there then mineral also it will have right organic matter so the soil is composed with the so many important thing which plant required actually that's what soil become very very important in any soil any thing cannot grow because of the reason that is the reason okay variation in particle size also influence water holding capacity what is the water ultimately from the soil they are getting main water so that water is how much moisture zone it is there how much water it is going to retain in the soil the particle size is going to decide the plants are able to determine their own soil ph range of their growth that's what if you grow any of the coriander fennel uh, uh, methi palak anything if you grow in the any soil they will not grow they will not come up right they require their own soil requirement right that's what their own soil uh, what soil they are going to uh, grow that they will decide you are not going to decide if you decide also if they can grow the they, they will find the suitability then only they will come up they will get the germinated and they will become a plant their ph range is very important what is the ph of the soil right so let's have a discussion in the particle size here soil and particle size this also you can give in nice way and here also there is a trick involved how to remember right so there is a diameter for example fine clay coarse clay fine sand coarse sand two two place clay two place sand fine coarse fine coarse easy now when it when you are going to write the particle size how we can do is you can see less than 0.002 mm right so the, this this number only it is going to zero is going to change 0.0022 to 0.02 0.02 to 0.2 or uh, 0.2 to 2.0 so that's what the one one zero it is going this side this side this side then the zero will come this side so in that way you can write down even though if you are not having that much memory this thing so you you can have this coding and it has been arranged in the, that such a way this all is in mm right millimeter so like that you can uh, remember it right now coming to the soil fertility how the soil fertility is having impact uh, it is capacity of soil to provide nutrients in adequate amount yes if cropping is done without fortification of soil with plant nutrients soil fertility get lost right so that's what we the we have to see the soil fertility right soil fertility uh, to be meant and can be maintained by addition of animal manures by addition of nitrogen fixing bacteria by application of chemical fertilizers so that's what fertility ultimately is very important to better growth and better yield of the plant or crop right then uh, when we talk about the fertilizers and manures that are very important right they are food they are extra boosting oxygen and glucose that may we can say that we are giving to the plant 
and plant are getting this plant also need food for their growth and development yes of course they are also living organism and they do the metabolism basic needs are carbon dioxide sunlight sun rays water mineral from the soil that's what they do the photosynthesis right with the, with the, with that, that is the process of their making up the food and without that these are the basic for all, all the plants so when we talk about the first one chemical fertilizers plants are need of 16 nutrient elements for synthesizing various compounds right so what are that the primary nutrient secondary nutrient micronutrient so primary nutrient sodium potassium phosphorus secondary nutrient magnesium calcium sulfur micronutrient copper iron molybdenum zinc all these things right when we talk about the manure second one under this manures uh, seed castor seed cake can be made manures poultry manures then neem, neem and uh, currant seed cake also can be manures. Oil cake, uh, 3 to 6% uh, nitrogen can be 2% phosphate, 1 to 1.5% uh, potash. So this also can be manures and uh, will be will be boosting boosting to the uh, plants so that they will be having the proper growth and development during their process, their growing, right? So then only if they will have the proper growth, then only they will give the secondary metabolites, no? Now, bone meal also you can mention, fish meal biogas slurry and the blood meal also can be the uh, manure right so third one is the bio fertilizer under seven point uh, what is the uh, demerits of the fertilizers and manures and hence the cultivator has to put some other types of uh, uh, fertilizers that is called the bio fertilizers are the most suitable form nowadays the biodynamic agriculture bio fertilizers are going to be used right, which consists of different types of microorganism may be nitrogen fixing bacteria like uh, rhizobium, azetobacter, azoesperilium, then uh, uh, bigerica, blue green algae, then azola etc. Right. So this you can remember. Then mineral supplements also we need to have nutrients we need to take care about. So these all are the factors even the pest and pest control that's also very very important. So what are the pests? They are also affecting the cultivation in huge quantity actually let me tell you uh, because Pests are undesired plant and animals, which undesired, we don't want actually they have, they should be there along with your medicinal plant, but they are there. Undesired plant and animal species that cause a great damage to the plant, right? The, the, the plant is going to damage great, okay? There are different types of pest, they are, they may be microbes, they may be insect, they may be non-insect also, maybe rat, a rabbit, rat and a uh, maybe paste and the wheat right wheat plant that's uh, un undesired plants right so uh, basically uh, uh, we can say like microbes uh, there are so many types of microbes uh, that we will discuss in the uh, another video so till now this much you can write this much you can write down in the factor influencing the medicinal plant thank you all